to this morning. I don't have COVID. Shout out to this morning. <laughs> it's all right. Everyone is taking them off earlier. Yeah. Yeah. EJ, you mentioned before this one that one of the big motivators was having fun. Uh, I have to say that first round didn't look very fun to me, but, but did you have fun in there when, when all of a sudden? Uh, yeah, it was, you know, <clears throat> it's it was fun to experience that. That's the first time that I've had an opponent just come across distance like that. And that's what we trained for. Um, we did a little bit of both, because usually in Muay Thai uh, athletes, they kind of start slower and have that rhythm and they slowly build up. You look at a Nongo when he fought today, he built up and then finally got that knockout. But with this fight, um, we knew that Rod Tate wanted to get the fight done in the first round because he would, I would be able to use my full skill set in the second round. And in the very beginning when I went in and I clinched him, and Olivier Cost was like, no, you can't, you can't do that. And that's just my natural reaction, right? Because if it makes much arts, if someone was to cross distance like that, it's just a little perfect, boom, take him down, and then the fight would have been over in the first round, right? So hence why it was Muay Thai the first round, the second round was MMA. If it was the first round Muay Thai, then we wouldn't have that exciting, you know, exciting first round. I think everyone in the arena was kind of looking back and forth between your fight and the clock. I mean, how, <laughs> how aware were you of the clock with all, all this was happening? Um, I wasn't aware to the last 30 seconds because my teammates were like, that's all he's got. You, you took his best shot. That's all he's got. And then when I came back, um, you know, they said, that's it. It should have been, I came back to my corner, like it's your round, this is you. And yeah, so I wasn't very, I wasn't looking at the clock. Like that's one thing I hate doing when we're training. Well, I hate when I see people do it when we're training. Like, yes, <clears throat> when you're fighting or you're sparring or you're training, Yes, it's hell, it sucks, right? But you should enjoy every moment of it because you're learning, right? If you're looking at the clock and you can't wait till it's over, then you're not there mentally and physically. You got the sub obviously in the second round, but you did seem kind of measured. You were taking your time, closing the distance, getting in there. What was going through your head as you, as you closed the distance there? Yeah, that was one of the things that I knew he was gonna do. Like a lot of people would say, oh, he doesn't have the footwork. And I was like, well, Rod saying he's one of the best in the world at stand up, right? And it doesn't take long just to move your feet a little bit. Granted, he can't like, you know, fight going backwards, but he's usually going forward. And so for me, I didn't want to make a mistake trying to shoot across like Shinya Aoki did 10 years ago in his fight. Right. If Shinya would have taken his time and got his hands on the gentleman, he probably would have submitted a guy just like I submitted a rod tape. But for me, I was taking my time, and we actually trained that. Like, we're training, and my coach was like, well, he doesn't have to do anything, because in MMA, you can run the whole time. And I was like, that's fine. I'll get there eventually. And when I got there, I was able to secure the submission, and. Get my hand raised. <clears throat> one more for me. What were the emotions like between rounds? You know, I'm guessing there's quite a bit of relief when the first one ended. How were you feeling about the second before it started? That was, it was a fight, you know, because I knew, I never predict that I'm going to get the, the finish. Like, I'm always working for the finish because I would hate to mentally prepare myself like, I'm going to get him out in the second round. And I go in there and I didn't get him out in the second round. Then I was ready to go for the third round and go through what the first round was again. And then <clears throat> if I made the third round, fourth round, try to get submission. And then and at the end of this, if I didn't finish him or if he didn't finish me, it was gonna be a draw. So it was, you know, going for the finish. DJ, Rodan was strong with bad intentions the first round. Did any of those uh, strikes, kicks, or punches hurt you? Yeah, I mean, I got rocked a couple of times, but I've been rocked before, right? Um, I think him and Dotson hit me the hardest. Um, yeah. You also said uh, earlier that it's, you know, it's not, Usual to see Rod down fighting backwards, but that, that's what exactly what he did. The second round, it was your time to act to stalk him. Was it weird, or did you feel like he was setting up a trap? Or anything? he was setting up a trap. That's what a lot of my opponents do. They, they set up traps for me because they know I'm going to come forward. When I fight Yuya Wakamatsu, he was looking to, to counter me. When I fight Adriano Marias, counter him with the uppercut. Um, Talk to Jawada, they wait for me. Like everybody's waiting for me to cross this because I'm the shorter fighter. So I knew when he, <clears throat> the second round happened, he was running. And that's why I kind of just stopped and chilled. And I think my cornerman was like, he's running, he's running. And I was like, yeah, he's running, which is, which is fine, right? I mean, the biggest thing that I'm happy about, I take away from this fight is that I had three minutes. And when I got his back, I was very aggressive. And typically in my fights, I'm not as aggressive. I don't really go for the kill. I'm just chilling and relaxed because I have five minutes, and I have 15 minutes. This one is like three minutes and you work that. You got three minutes, you gotta get it done. Or you're gonna go to another round of Muay Thai and then that's you have your, he has a chance to knock you out. You do. Okay guys, I'm so sorry, uh, but Angela's on the way right now, so we're done with the questions. Yeah. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Yeah. Angela's got a baby, so she's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she got her first. Right. Thank you. Thank you.